here um, this is the back of the block that is the front now these are your main journals um, and this is actually where your crank sits um, and obviously you need bearings for these so the way we pick the way we find out what size bearings we need is you go on the left side from the back over here where your oil pan to go and you look really closely next to the journal. So here's my back journal. I go over here and I look around and I see a number right there. I don't know if you can see that too. There you go. So you see that number two stamped into the block. So this journal is a number two. And we do that for each journal. So we go up to this journal look over here and we look for a number and you know these numbers can be faded out from all the scraping of the old gaskets and whatever you just gotta look carefully but they are there um, where are you there you go um, it's kind of really really light I don't know if you can see in the camera but that is a two right there so this journal is also a two we go up to the next one, and I have a two there as well. You go up to the next one, and that happens to be a two also. And we go up to the last one, and look over here. What do I see? Yeah, I remember this one being kind of hard to find. And that is a two as well so on my block 
all of these journals are two are number two journals, and um, that you know that's not the case all the time. Um, these numbers go from one through one to four, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I mean, you could end up with a two, a uh, one, a three, a four, and a two. I mean, it, it's different for you know for every block. But I happen to have two on each journal, so we have that number. Now we have to go over to the crank, which I have taken out of its happy resting position to make this video. Okay, don't fall over. Okay, now you go on your crank, here's your timing chain sprocket, and we look on the front, and you'll see these numbers stamped here. Here you'll see that I have a zero, a two, and three ones. Now, that is my journal size for the crank. Now all you do is you take the numbers on the crank, and you take the numbers on your block, and you add them. So for the first journal on my crank, I have a zero, and for the first journal on my block, I had a two. So two plus zero is two. So I need a number two, a grade two bearing for the first journal on the first main journal. Now for the second one, I have a 2 on here and I have a 2 on my block, so 2 plus 2 is 4. So I need a grade 4 bearing for the second uh, journal on the crank in the block. So you just do that for every bearing as you go down. And you know, it's pretty much it. Now the crank you see, I have a 1200. Zero, zero. It's the same process for buying the crank, uh, I mean the uh, rod bearings. Um, now I have to double check with the FSM, but I believe the rod bearings, um, from what I've read, uh, the rod journals on the actual rod are all the same size. So all you'll need is these numbers on here, and so I'll need a one, two, a zero, zero rod journals. And if you're going, uh, if you're going with aftermarket rods, those those will be made to factory specs so you should be good there as well um, if anyone knows otherwise please correct me in the comments or send me a message and I will fix that so that's pretty much all you need to do to pick your main bearings and your rod bearings for the K's uh, I hope this video was helpful I know it took me a while to stumble upon this but I hope you can learn from what I've learned um, thanks for all the support Please subscribe, it helps me out a lot. Um, thanks for all the support so far. I'm trying to do bigger things with this channel. Actually, I've just started a forum, so if you want to go check that out, uh, you can you know, register and post up questions or videos or just general car talk, whatever you want to do, uh, you can post it there on the forum. Um, I'll put a link here, and I'll put a link in the description. It's projectgarage.proboards.com. Uh, please check it out. Uh, I'm hoping that we can all benefit from that. So stay tuned. Um, at 1,500 subscribers, I'm going to try to do something cool for you guys, uh, raffle. Um, so stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.